on either side of him and supporting him. So we are up and running in Tala Stadium. First ball sent long. Looking for the... That works it out into space. Sean Hoare stepping in and here is for Rizai. Might fancy a crack here. He does! Oh! Well, that would have been the cherry on top of a magnificent 26 minutes so far for 17-year-old Justin Farizai. Unbelievable move from Rovers again. They've worked it down this right-hand side, but they're patient to come back out. They don't just throw across into the box. Verdezoy just checks inside, like we said. He's not going to be shy about taking on shots, neither. He'll hit it off both feet. Oh, well, that is inches, inches away. As I said, I do, he walks away. Chivic swings it in, great ball, fantastic save from Alan Manus. Superb reactions to deny Ryan, to deny Ryan. Man. As we were saying, we'll uh, more than likely see him at some point. Oh, excellent work there from Kavanagh. And Maku has options. Was he clipped just on the edge or inside? Well, a little bit of confusion here. There's a yellow card. I think it's a free kick just outside. Shamrock Rovers fans with this other referee pointing. He had to quickly uh, make the point, he was pointing at the offender and the card was going to be given, it did look just outside. He's with injury, it's great to see him back to full fitness. I'm really surprised that Ferdizoy isn't standing over with him as a right footer, because I've seen him score from this distance as well. It's a little bit more delicate than tell. And it's been a while since he's found a goal, Sean Kavanagh, this is his moment, oh good save! Bogdan got himself in the perfect position and just didn't fall for Ronan Finn after that. Well, caught it beautifully, Sean Kavanagh. You know, it's all about the positioning from the goalkeeper. Yeah, the keeper just does his job. It's not far enough in the corner from Kavanagh. He does well to get on target, and it's Finn that's following up, and it just goes by his, his left shoulder on the way back in. Well, and another night at breaks for Ronan Finn. Maybe goes in off Ronan Finn and Finn. Well, I do need, it was a ball that was whipped at him. Kavanagh. Richie Towell around the back post here. Towell! Oh! oh, he controlled it as best he could. It was a difficult chance dropping over his shoulder. Cut it right on the meat, though, Richie Towell. How close was this one? Again, it's a wonderful break. That's a hell of a pick out from Kavanagh. And, and the technique that Towell shows here to get his foot over it just, just goes over the back. It's a fantastic effort. They got all in the middle of the park. They got bodies around a set they nick it off him and they break and Amaku feeds Kavanagh. It's a it's a wonderful pick out from Kavanagh. Just coming down nice and soft for Tell to hit the volley. Oh Traore Mai on the move straight away and Alan Manor stands up big again. Twice he's denied Ryan Mai now. Late in the first and then they've least weeks. And then they've leads to a chance for Manus. And that's a wonderful save from Alan. He just stands up. Marquinhos, and that breaks down. Early cross was looking for Aaron Green. It breaks here for Jack Byrne. And he shifted away from Vekshai, still going. Jack Byrne, he's played it in. Chance! Oh, big save from Bogdan. Oh, Andy Lyons almost had that goal. Rovers stay on the front foot here with Ferruja. Held up by Marquinhos. Taken down. And as the cross came in, the referee had already blown the whistle. Unbelievable from Jack Bourne again. You can see the defenders waiting on him to check onto his right hand side. This is the challenge coming in. It's just late as he passes the ball back and it gives it's a dangerous it's a dangerous opportunity to put the ball into the box for Rovers. Oh, it's a brilliantly timed run and a good pick out from Jack Bourne. Just couldn't quite find the it. Lions and that allows Ferruja to get a bit of pace and tempo onto the ball. Lions is in there hunting again. It's heading in his direction. And he front stick and it's Andy Lyons who's constantly on the move in the box and he's so dangerous from set pieces and you wouldn't expect it from him but his time into that header is unbelievable and the power is what does bog down through his legs it's a great goal from Shamrock Rovers and what a time to score precious little time now for Ferenc Barros to respond Shamrock 
Well, this is where the Europa League adventure ends for Shamrock Rovers, but it will continue in the form of the Europa Conference League and how they will relish heading into that group stage, just the second group stage in the club's history. And they will do so off the back of a magnificent home European record, the champions of Malta, Bulgaria, North Macedonia, and now Hungary have come here and been beaten. And it's been happened in dramatic circumstances tonight. Andy Lyons off the bench to head in a remarkable seventh goal of his debut season with Shamrock Rovers. And now it's mission in a sense achieved for Stephen Bradley and Rovers tonight. They know now that teams will look at the upcoming games in Tala with some trepidation. Yeah, and you hope, you hope they do. Like you said, the performance here in the European games this season in particular have been outstanding to a man they put in some, some level.